you, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Annie Kwong from Telsby. So let's talk about insights. Insights, what a great topic to relate self experiences, right? So, by definition, insights the capacity to gain accurate and deep intuitive understanding of a person or thing. So, I'm sure everyone present in here has the self experience of self question. The questions like, who we are, what's the meaning of life, and how do we define ourselves? Those questions must bother me so much. So I will share the stages of my life that how I perceive insights of ourselves. Actually, all thinking began with a story. A story about my mom's friends. She's a university teacher. And you know what is most important for a university teacher? is the insurance of the periodicals. Like there's no normal access of right above. Like let me ask a small question. Does anybody uh, choose the chemistry here? Please raise your hand. Okay, as we know, this chemistry has lots of experiments to do, like we had to write the lab reports and the assets, right? Lots of things. But those higher level periodicals are not easy to be published and same as the protagonist in this story. So not so surprisingly, she got depression. And the trauma still bothers her till now. What do you think about the story? Just another way uh, tragedy about another way people? Well, through this story, I learned how our life pressures is, and therefore, I will prove the possibilities in our life, just more than depression and trauma. So, where this thing talks about the excessive exploration of the spiritual world will lead you to nihilism. It really works on me, because sometimes it really interests me to think about, to dive down deeper on those questions. I can't help you think, what will the afterward be like if I die now immediately? Am I scared? Through this logic, I gradually found out there's no such common of life because we're all gonna die. Look at this equation. Then people, why don't we just walk this door and have some ice cream from McDonald's? Stop listening to this big philosopher jumping around. Well, if you have seen dots as I do, then congratulations. This is exactly the first batch of form of insects. This is not the big things we're talking about, like food and shoulders, but high level of insects. So to give myself a meaningful life, or say to break the cycle of nihilism, first stage, I was really obsessed by some personality tests, like Zodiac and PDI, you know all these things, right? And because those are judgments from external words that I can perceive instead of myself, so actually the result is that I'm an ENTJ, a commander. The people who have the commander personalities are natural born leaders. Well, Body gives a great amount of confidence, and but they're also characterized by the useless level of rationalities. Well, hold on. It is really bummy. I mean, great leaders with their intellectual abilities and high level rations. Highly doubt that because I'm the kind of person who always cry when I watch the Korea drama, like Obama. So, does this uh, reminds me of our old friend from Harry Potter? The descriptions. Oh my God! I'm the Voldemort. Can you imagine that, right? So as I found that those personalities can really fit on me, I began to turn help on external words. Because those personalities has actually used some called Barton deaths. This is coming to you, oh, that's exactly the type of person you are. So I begin to turn to a knowledge I want for help, a book for help, which is the birth of tragedy. In that book, the great philosopher nature wrote a story about the king and the elf. The king might this one day. He was searching the elf in the forest and asked him what is the best thing for human. Think about his questions. And uh, elf firstly responded him in silence, and then he asked the king, poor mortals, the offspring of suffering, why do you force me to say the things that you'd rather not hear? The very best thing for human is not having born, not to be, and to be nothing. But the very second best thing you still can achieve, which is die soon. Here we go. I was showing the cycle of nihilism again. As we mentioned before, I want to break cycles of the nihilism and prove the possibilities in our lives. So, take myself as an example. I'm a great top student, obviously, and I have been through the college application seasons. And I have to say, those uh, times for me just like hell. Because do you know this? Every, every first thing I do in the morning is get up and check my outlook, email. So there's any generous universities that offer me the admissions. Oh my god. But sometimes the results turns like, oh no way, another reject. I can't help this anymore. Oh. But actually, 
if you think that college application is really important for me, that, uh, that's for sure. Because the, log, uh, the logic is not like that. If I didn't go to your university, do, I'm doomed. No, it's not like that. Because there's so many paths leading me to success. And getting on the good college is just one of them. So if you take being rich as one of the criteria for success, I would definitely make a lot of money if I saw show dropping nearby our school, right? Because I'm not saying that our school canteen is bad, but I was sure lot of students and teachers walk into my business. So what I want to emphasize is that there's an all roads lead to the room, and everything happens for some reason. Don't just think our birth is just another expression of a federalism. All, all right. So to break the cycle of nihilism, or say to give myself a meaning of life, there's two questions left to be answered. The first one is, what does my current truth signify? And secondly is, am I living for others? So let's firmly come to the first question. What does my current truth signify? Well, if you look at the questions I uh, proposed before, it is not a fear of death I'm afraid of, but a fear of lose self-consciousness. I won't be able to think, I won't be to respond since that wrong. So on that basis, I fear death. But if we see things from another side, and no sense we are living, we require things, there's no such call denying of the meaning of life. Because the meaning of life is right here, thinking, which proves your existence as a whole. So on that stage, I learned, I think, therefore I am. It's such a powerful sentence that breaks all imaginations, both by depression and trauma. And it, the logic is very simple. Don't go gentle into that night. Don't fall into darkness. Because all the perfect things happens on the basis when we're living. So, once we solve the questions of distance, now we came to the stage three. Am I living for others? Actually, it's a very interesting question when I look at the Merchant of Venus written by Shakespeare. And he says that everyone in the society has placed their own rules, and life is a huge stage. Well, actually, it is a question that's really easy to be understand because Take me for example, I'm a debater, I love debate. I'm a student, by the way, I hate advice. <laughs> and I'm a daughter of my parents, look at who I am. And I, am the, I have an English name Annie, and I also have a Chinese name, uh, uh, Kong Le Yi. So on that basis, I have so much characters, so we still have the questions like, when we go so much characters or identities, can we say, say that we are a person who we are, or say, when all the external responsibilities are straight away, am I still living for others or just for myself? Well, let me give you another example. In the March, I was volunteering to be joining the IB expansion program. I was chosen by Mr. Webb, same thing. I have just great opportunity, but I have to say it's a very painful process because I'm going to make the posters and make a video with uh, the most understandable questions for our audiences. And I was sitting by the posters, and I was like, oh, this is a business management. Come to our courses. You can get seven. Yes, come on, choose it. But actually, it's just very big, big smells on my face, and it sounds really silly, right? But as you have enough insights, we'll find out the human relationships are so interactive. When expressing the knowledges and experiences, you as audiences are also giving me the positive emotions back to me. So all the process, I will really enjoy it. If you ask me if I had another chance to join this program or not, the answer would still be yes. And as we saw lots of examples and things, it is not very to find out that our human relationships are internally altruistic. It's not, firstly, you are to yourself, and upon that, your emotions and the hopes become a kind of contributions and if you are truly altruistic to the uh, societies and you're making contributions because of your own wish in the whole. So, am I looking for others? The answer is no. Okay, let me, as we solve all the stages and questions in my life, um, I want to still emphasize about that our life is a long journey. As we navigate the complexity of the modern world, we'll find that the insights as the baking of hope and makes as a guiding lights and uh, drawing the world of confusions and then chaos. And most importantly, don't go gentle into that good life because love is louder than all your pains. Thank you, hope you love this. Too.